Atreus is a very beloved project in my community and in many other communities as well. There are a lot of people invested emotionally but also with money in this project and a lot of people believe that Trias has a huge potential on the short and on the long run. When it comes though to understanding what actually Trias is doing, not a lot of us really know how Trias works. So today I just wanted to go over exactly that. I've seen this interested thread on Twitter and I will go over it because I think it's in a very nice way laid down and better than actually the website itself. Going through the website is not very easy to understand exactly what Trias is doing to be honest. Not on the first sight though. You need to spend more time, at least in my case. Maybe you are smarter and you can understand exactly everything from the beginning but for me it took me some time to read information in different places and then when I came back to the homepage I finally understood how the things are working. Okay, now let's dive in. So we can see this guy here, Beat Babai. Shout out to this guy for putting this nice thread right here, which is very nice explained. So let's get into third of Babai 20. I think it's his picks, something like that. Undervaluated picks. Trias, my biggest bag at the moment. So he says that he has the biggest stack in Trias at the moment. Trias Lab, the Twitter handle of the Trias project, is a mammoth in the decentralized computing space with connections to Oxford, Mitsubishi, Peking University. It is lighting the torch in bringing trust back to the machines. Mega thread be below. Now let's look into the details. I will blow this up so it will be easy for you to read as well. How can a company like 23andMe, I don't know what company is this, but yeah, uh, that does genetic testing using your DNA, be confident that the underlying computing machines are not misusing your private data. Well, Trias is building a decentralized trusted computing layer exactly to address that problem. So the machines, the code could misuse your private data. So Trias is trying to tackle that issue right there. Trias solves this problem by separating the powers in cloud computing. One, power to execute software, executive. Two, power to verify the software implements only intended behavior, legislative. And three, power to decide who does what and who gets what, judicial. As you can see here, Mag Carta, judiciary, Leviathan, executive, and Promit, uh, legisl legislation. Leviathan, the executive is made of two consensus layers. Trias layer, uh, sorry, ledger layer allows other ledgers to plug into the underlying trust layer. And trust layer identifies misbehaving nodes by combining TE tech, for example, Intel ASGX and graph computing algorithms, for example, DAGs. Going further, Promit, the legislative, it's also made of two layers. Service layer, reusable enterprise ready services, app store, built using underlying toolkits. And construction layer, toolkit to build general purpose apps on top of ledgers with traceable SDLC. Right, and the last one, Mag Carta, the judicial has also two layers in it. Application layer, DAPS or DSAAS, Contract layer orchestrates Promit services for higher order enterprise application logic. So how does Trias work with other blockchains? Trias provides pre-existing trusted relationships, so reaching consensus is significantly less complex. Any blockchain, Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain ready can use Trias minus one trust layer and reach 100,000 transactions per second for a single shard. That's crazy. It's pretty fast. If I understood something about Trias is that it's pretty, pretty fast. Not only for this, but not only from this info right here, but from before, I mean. Trias took a step ahead and gamified the blockchain testing process using a 4D metaverse called Triathon. Testing blockchains is now as easy as playing a game. Triathon truly deserves a dedicated thread, so watch out for it soon. I also plan to make a video about Triathlon because it looks very, very exciting. The team 
at Trias Lab is made up of world-class researchers from University of Oxford, PKU 8898, China's Harvard, and uh, China's uh, MIT, Tsinghua Uni, and ex-China Aerospace, Intel, Oracle, and Alibaba. Let's dive into the funding team. Key founding members at Trias Lab. CEO, Ambag Ruan. Yeah, there are some uh, details about what uh, universities they've been to, 20 publications, and they have uh, several patents. CTO, Ming Wei, architect at China Aerospace Science and Technology, and CSO, Kai Ling Bian, a director of Huobi Labs. Some mind-bending team stats, 50 plus full-time engineers and expanding to 300. That's quite a, an expansion and I really look forward to that. 20 plus PhD and master graduates, three research and development centers in Beijing, Hangzhou and Tokyo, 40 plus patent spending. So they have quite a list here. Core partners, Okta Innovations, core team from Oxford, Microsoft, etc. And supports in dev research marketing. Peking University lab with four profs, 12 doctoral and 20 plus master students. Oxford lab for trading, P2P, peer-to-peer -peer credit scoring, DEX project. Anyone can create DSAS products on the Trias platform. Trias Force is a DSAS built on, built by Trias Lab with various functional modules. It is already being used in China, Japan, and Korea by customers like MHI Group. Trias is earning revenues for a long time, since 2019, second quarter. This is something I was not aware about. They are earning revenue which is huge. It's huge. You know why? Because the pot potential is much, much higher. Think about Cardano. I don't even know what market cap Cardano has right now, but it must be over 30 billion bucks and they don't generate any revenue. What are we talking about here? And if you have a nice product, eventually you will blow up. That's what is happening in crypto. To promote building apps on Trias, a decentralized funding platform called Trias Grant was launched in April 2021. Approved projects through Trias DAO can receive support from the community and Trias foundations. Key tokenomics about Trias. Software distributors stake tokens proportional to products sold. Token holders stake for rewards based on revenue. Burning of tokens based on revenue stake to support a specific trias grant and that's it the thread i think right now he addresses some questions and this is interesting uh, projects usually tend to explain every nitty-gritty of their products let alone blockchain how about a layer minus one trias lab is doing something very complex and it is hard for an average crypto investor to understand the full scope of it. I will leave it at this for this video. I hope it was interesting for you because for me it was very insightful. So stay tuned for more exciting news from Trias. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please let me know and tell me if you would like me to make more of this in the future. See you next time.